Indeed, it is truly amazing how many resources we are mobilizing. This will really make the difference. And I'm pleased to have with us for Gavi, the Vaccines Alliance, Chief Executive Officer Dr. Seth Berkeley. Dr. Berkeley, it's good to have you with us. You have the floor. Thank you, President Van der Leyen, for your great leadership in convening this important event with your co-host and these extraordinary leaders to galvanize these global commitments to tackle the coronavirus pandemic. In this moment, it's absolutely vital that we all join together at the political, scientific, and community levels to end this pandemic and the suffering it's causing globally. Gavi, the Vaccine Alliance, has worked for the last 20 years to assure equity in vaccination. We currently help countries vaccinate more than half of the world's children and prevent the spread of outbreaks across the world. As we've heard from others, it's clear that if we want to end this pandemic, minimize the loss of life and return to some semblance of normality, we need vaccines. I must say I'm incredibly grateful to our existing and new donors who today and in the last few weeks have announced their pledges for Gavi for our next period, as well as supplemental support for this important work on COVID-19 vaccines, which we will be doing jointly with CEPI. Building upon our experience in accelerating the availability of billions of doses of vaccines and the introduction of close to 500 new vaccines in some of the poorest, most difficult to operate countries, Gavi is now proposing to create a new COVID-19 advanced market commitment. We're working closely with CEPI, the World Bank, and other partners to do this. This will allow scaled up manufacturing and speed up availability of vaccines by efficiently managing the supply and demand of vaccines with supporting incentives for industry and providing financial capabilities. Gavi's innovative financing instruments, IFM, will also be used to finance vaccine development by partners, including CEPI and for the AMC. This is essential for in addition to the enormous task of developing COVID vaccines, we must, as have others have said, ensure that there are enough vaccines for global deployment, guaranteed equitable access, protecting healthcare workers and bolstering health systems, and in the meantime, ensure that routine immunization continues during the pandemic so that we don't face multiple outbreaks of infectious diseases. All of this makes Gavi's work more than ever. And as Prime Minister Johnson mentioned, on the 4th of June, he will be hosting Gavi's virtual Global Vaccine Summit to complete financing of Gavi's core activities and our work on the additional activities we're doing on COVID vaccines. We must address the crisis now and ensure the right systems are in place long term to prevent infectious diseases, protect the next generation, and ensure that communities can prosper. I thank you for helping with both. Thank you, Dr. Berkeley. Thank you for everything that you do. And we count on you and we count, of course, on Gavi.